Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I literally just woke up. I bought some matcha powder. I've been obsessed with matcha lately. I'm making my own matcha at home for the first time. This is bomb. This is good. I've also been obsessed with these uh, protein pancakes. I'm gonna put a bit of honey. I literally get these from Tesco and they actually buy my protein. I tried the normal ones, I actually prefer the chocolate ones. So. Two shows that I binge watched. Bridgerton, season three, part one. Don't ask me why they bloody split in two. I have to wait all the way till June now for the rest. Although I think I might read the books. Everyone tells me to read the books. And then I binge watch Max and Hall on Prime. It's actually based on a German book and the show's in German. But I had, there was a voiceover, like a dubbed version, but with British accents. And the acting of the voiceovers were quite good, so I put it in the English voiceover, which I never do. Like, if, for example, I watch, like, a Korean show, I'll watch it in the actual Korean language and read the subtitles. I hate putting, like, dubbed versions. But with this one, it actually worked really well. And, yeah, I binge-watched it in, like, three days. It's basically about, like, high school students. Like, typical. it's, like, typical rom-com. What is it rom-com? Typical romance. If you like romance books, you're gonna like Maxton Hall, so I definitely recommend that. I really liked about it though was the playlist. I literally have it on repeat now. And for Ice Age. I actually don't know what I'm gonna say. I feel like I'm gonna clean a bit. I'm actually gonna read, chill out, then probably film. Yeah, today's just like meh, meh day. We were supposed to go do Pilates on Monday, but because it's a bank holiday, it got cancelled, so I'm a bit about that so it'll probably be for next weekend need to clean all this messiness let's try the hydrating one i've never heard of this brand discovering new spf no there's a white cast there's a white cast let's just try and work this in and give it a proper chance but not this is my hand and this is the spf there's a cast so no for these i have my special pilates socks I'm so gutted that it, my session got cancelled for Monday. Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic Met Remedies by internationally renowned South Asian influencer Dilpa Kosla. Oh yeah, so I was, I was watching like who created this brand because it just ring, it just rung a bell. But it's uh, Dilpa Kosla's uh, brand. If you don't know who she is, she's right there. She's so beautiful. So we have hair oil. So this is a, this is the hair oil, squalene. Dewy lip treatment and niacinamide. I'm gonna definitely give these a go, but let's try the lip balm. I love the branding, the packaging. It feels nice. It feels very natural. That's what I would say. So thank you so much to the team for sending this over. I definitely look forward to trying those. I got some more skincare from Face Theory. They sent me all of their serums. Yeah, I don't know which one to go for. I don't know, I might try one of these and obviously I can't use all of them so I'll probably keep them for like a giveaway. I think I already shared this. Moisturising Volume Spray for the hair by Fable and Main. I actually really like anything volumising. Oh, and that smells amazing. And these are so handy when I'm filming these hair clips. So thank you so much to Fable and Main for sending these. Oh my god, there's such a bad cast on this hand from the SPF. Okay, and then I got some SOS SPFs. This is really, this is supposed to be really great for sensitive skin. I might actually give one of these to my sister because she has sensitive skin. I'll try the hydrating one. Oh, that feels really nice. This is the Day Cream SPF 30. And I've just put that on my hand and it's like really nice. And got a bunch of glosses from Giorgio Armani. So it's the Giorgio Armani Prisma Glass Glosses. This one's in the shit in the 07 one. Really like this. These are gonna be really great for traveling. So I'm gonna put these away. I don't know if I need two though. I need two. I might give one to my sister. The girl doesn't need all of this. I've been dying to try these as well. It's the Brightening Rice Base Powder by Dermalogica. I've heard really good things about these, but to be honest, I'm really happy with my skin right now. And it's the Ordinary um, Alpha Arbutin. The whole thing is 
yeah, Alpha Arbutin serum. It's really helped my skin. I've also got some products from Emma Lewisham. Yeah, there's like a whole set. I'm always looking for like really good face cream. So I'm gonna try the Supernatural Face Cream Rish. That feels really nice, but it's super tiny. I'm just gonna have to empty this in my skincare wardrobe. I also got sucked up on the Bumble and Bumble heat protecting primer. I've gone through bottles of these, it's so good. Right now I've been liking the Revlon hair one. The one serum is like literally all in one product and it smells really good. Um, but yeah, I always use heat protectant. If it's not this, then it's the Revlon one. I don't use any others to be honest. I also got this skincare. I think this is maybe Korean skincare. Rice water essence. Oh, it's jelly. Mm. I love gloopy stuff like this. Like I like to just put it on my hands and I like, press it into my skin. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna try that. There's so much recycling. I also got some products from iRay. It's a Swiss brand, but I'm gonna try this eye serum. It's supposed to brighten, tighten, and deep up. So I'm gonna give this a go. Love this hairspray. Got some Huda Beauty um, lip duos. I'm gonna keep these for a giveaway because I already have all these products. I mean, Huda Beauty has bomb lip products. I got this viral glass finish spatula brush by Eloise um, Beauty. I've seen this everywhere, so I'm definitely gonna film with that. And they gave like a little brush and like a palette to like put your foundation or like any cream products on. Thank you so much for Eloise Beauty because these will be handy, like especially when I'm yes. filming. If you haven't tried Max Factor lip liners, I definitely recommend, especially warm brown, brown and bold. And like if you want like a red one, red ruby. Yeah, those are the best, I think. And then I've got some cream blushes. I already have these, so I'm gonna keep these for a giveaway. Um, and actually keep the brown lip liners for me because I love them and I actually go through brown lip liners so much. Okay, I'm gonna finish cleaning. I need to charge this camera before I start filming my cookies for you guys. Yeah, I might do my face a little bit, like be a bit presentable. <laughs> all right guys, I've prepared all my ingredients to make the matcha cookies. I'll link the recipe I'm following online. It's actually an American recipe, which was a bit annoying because luckily I have cups, but some bits I had to like convert to grams, but yeah, that's the only downside to it. But let's see how the recipe turns out because I don't know how this is gonna go. Let me put my mic actually. Okay, here are the ingredients. I've got some butter, egg, sugar, light brown sugar, what's this? Plain flour, cho white chocolate chips, we also need some vanilla, then we have two tablespoons of matcha powder, I got mine from Amazon, and here we've got salt, baking soda, and cornstarch, the bloody cornstarch I couldn't find. I didn't know it was a thing that you couldn't find cornstarch because I grabbed corn flour initially from Tesco, but apparently that's not the same thing. Okay, we're gonna mix all our powder ingredients together. So we're gonna put the cornstarch, baking soda and salt and matcha powder with our plain flour. And I'm just gonna whisk this together. Very small bowl because I can't be bothered to use a gigantic bowl and wash it after. So this is gonna have to do. Okay, then we can put this to the side. Okay, now we're gonna mix our sugar and butter together. I don't know if I put too much sugar, but oh well, we'll see. And then butter. Then we have to mix this until it's nice and light and fluffy. Now we wanna put our egg and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now we can put our powder ingredients. I'm gonna start low with this. So it doesn't go everywhere. Such an arm workout, oh my god. Okay, now I'm gonna take my spatula and just give this a good mix. But it definitely looks like cookie dough. Mmm. And I'm gonna put most of my chocolate chips in here. Keep some just to add on top. It's a good fold. Okay, now this is gonna go in the fridge for 10 minutes. Really wanna just like give it a quick taste though. Cause it is cookie dough after all. Well, uncooked cookie dough. Okay, that tastes so good already. Now for my least favorite part is to clean up. I need to do the dishes. Once 
is what the batter is looking like. I'm going to do a nice scoop of this. That's a cute scoop. They need to be spaced out. I'm gonna do six on this one. Okay, that's what they're looking like. These are gonna go in the oven for 11 to 12 minutes and I put the fan oven at 175 degrees Celsius. I'm boiling. I'm literally so hot right now. Have one of these. Do you know what? I'm so dumb. Last time, so in my testing out video, one of you actually commented that I was like opening this wrong, and it makes so much sense that I was doing it wrong. So let's do it properly now. So basically, there's a, like a glass ball in here, and you're supposed to use this, and I was just use doing this, right? And like really struggling to open this. Basically, you're supposed to take this out first. Duh. Put it on there. And now, and now it should be relatively easy. How easy was that? You guys don't even know how much I struggled in my last video. I was like, I was putting all my strength. Like, it was like a workout. I'm hoping these cookies turn out good. Oh, that's nice and cold. Okay, let's do another batch before the others are ready. And actually this time I'll probably remember to put the chocolate chips on top. Okay, well, these are gonna go in the oven. Just need to get a cup. I don't have anything to make this do this so it comes around. Did that work? Hmm. Actually it does work. It makes some kind of like so cute. This is what the cookies look like. This is what the cookie looks like. Guys, this is what it looks like when you break the cookie. The end. Okay, let's give this a go. So good. They have a little bit of a crunch and they're chewy inside. Mmm. These are like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, these are definitely a 10 out of 10. I'll link the re recipe in the description box if you guys want to try it out. But yeah, these were definitely a success. Uh, I need to go work out. So I'm not gonna eat too much. I'm gonna go for the roast. Is there a roast? Oh, no. I know there is one. I need to just go in. It's roast. Oh, that's why I'm saying. Sweet you don't work. No, I think automatically on a Sunday there's roast. The weather looks nice. Look. Oh, look at these little houses. How peaceful does that look? Hey, this is why I like peace. The pub was closed. Yeah, it's so dumb. So we're gonna go to High Street and go like out and about to the shop. I'm gonna get these cute PJs. Oh, it does say Bridgeton. Netflix. 
Does it give Bridgerton vibes? Yeah. <laughs> Just nice and baggy. Got an L. Tea. My sister's shocked because they charge her 50 extra to remove ice. And I was just like, that's normal because if it's less ice, then they're going to put more juice, so you're obviously going to have to pay for it. Can I give you anything else? My sister got the same. Just give us. That's all we got fish and chips. Mm. Try that. Mm -hmm. It's good. I told you. My sister's never tried Yorkshire pudding before. But have you tried it? Never tried it. Like an oven one night. Oh, frozen. I love Yorkshire pudding. So hungry. That was very good. My sister finished it. Do you want some of mine? My potatoes? I need space for my dessert. I'm gonna get an apple crumble. They're getting a brownie. I got uh, uh, apple and raspberry and I got their brownies. Guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I got my bubble tea. This one is lychee black tea with aloe vera. It's got like aloe vera pieces in it. It's so good. And I got 50% sugar last time because 100% can be quite sweet sometimes. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. A little bit of baking, working out, Sunday roast. And yeah, I'm sure it'll be a cute vlog. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!